what's happening. <clears throat> uh, it's a story I read. Don't remember when. It's probably in high school, but it's called the world's most deadliest game. And it's wasn't net, it didn't necessarily mean a game, but though I could also see it could mean a game. You know what I'm saying? But game as in things you hunt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, this guy gets shipwrecked and marooned on an island. And there's a killer there, a hunter. You know what I'm saying? And, and he basically, it's like uh, that movie uh, Surviving the Game with, uh, uh, what the heck is his name? With the dreads, man. Uh, Ice, Ice T. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, it's a badass movie. But the reason I'm bringing this up is the other day I seen this quote from Albert Einstein. And he said that the final world war will not be fought with bombs and guns. It'll be fought with sticks and stones. You know what I'm saying? And it showed a monkey, but I don't believe in the, it going back to monkey. I just mean, I even just made a video called the Neo Dark Ages. And I feel we're, we're, we're go heading to a time. Are we not even in the Dark Age now? They look at old buildings and they're like, how did they construct those? Those old stone buildings. You know what I'm saying? The technology, we're looking at it, but we can't figure out how they used it. We're, we're peering upon things greater than us. Even though I could see how they could do it with a lot of manpower, a lot of time, and a lot of simple machines and ingenuity. But you'd also have to have instruction. You'd have to have some kind of master teaching you. just doesn't make sense that people would get that smart at what they were doing without some kind of help. But... So, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking now, I'm like, in the Bible it also talks about how that the red horse, he's given the power to kill with sword and with beast. Beast, in some cases, means like, okay, listen, in the field, they'd find a mangled up body and it'd be stripped of everything. The beast got it. It wasn't, but what they meant, it's the men who, la who lie in wait to devour another to steal what he's got. That is also a beast. But a beast also is a beast. Like a bear. A lion. Mountain lion. A sheep squatch. Who knows? That's a beast. Uh, a sadder beast. And it talks about dragons. I mean you look at. Uh, alligators. That's a dragon. You look at Komodos. Those are dragons. Like I was looking at a picture of a tiger the other day. And I, I, I was like dude. It ain't a big step up to see a saber toothed tiger. From that how big it is already. You know what I'm saying? So. Things like that, but basically, what these people are using their shoulder to shoulder uh, style of, of group fighting. The only time they could use that was back in the day when it was man to man, you know what I'm saying? With just uh, spear, uh, sword, and bow, you know what I'm saying? Basically, that was a, and maybe axe, you know what I'm saying? Axe is, is good against shield for the because of its hooking capability or one of those police things. The, uh, with the handle, you could use that as a hook. Hit their shield, pull it, let the guys behind you attack the guy holding the shield. You know what I'm saying? That's how you breach in and you break their shoulder to shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, approach. This is all hypothetical. I ain't saying do this, but it's just like watching, trying to size up two fighters before they go into a boxing match. This is the same thing. Or two t uh, football teams, uh, how the gamblers do it. But, uh, Basically, since they're going to go back to these old tactics, you know what I'm saying? You got to look back in history of different ways they overcame those tactics. See, if you got a bunch of people in a group, well, they're all lumped together. That when, Once they in, developed the cannon, you know what I'm saying? Fucking, if you could hit one group with the cannonball, it, it goes boom, and there's a, it just mows down a line. So you could walk at us in shields if you want goes for all the way through that you know what I'm saying uh, another way is you, you douse it you douse it with flammable hit it bam with the, your flaming archerman you know what I'm saying uh, catapults catapults also hurling giant stones knock down the shield spread them out you know what I'm saying for uh, you know and then their unit their strength and their size is their strength but likewise, it's also their weakness. They, a lot of people moving all together like that, shoulder to shoulder, are very slow. And it's like a turtle. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's very defensive, but it moves very slow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which is another something you can 
it's hard for them to maneuver with that very quickly. If you got a, you know, if you got three single files coming at them, these single files can disperse, come together, and then flee away a lot quicker than they can. And then plus, if they're not coming with that shoulder to shoulder shield action, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got space to maneuver too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and maybe if you have no shields, that they, half of the one arm is used at least, and and you know uh. They're carrying this have this heavy anchor around with them. You know what I'm saying as well. Uh, so you got to think back. Don't think like uh, going ac according to Albert Einstein that where it's going to be fought with sticks and stones. Low tech is high tech. If you de are dependent to, uh, solely upon high tech, once your high tech is is stripped from you, well, you're going to be worse off than anyone. You know what I'm saying? So if they EMP, destroy the into say it's not even EMP. Let's say it's God, man, and He sends a X flare, a super X flare, and it just knocks out everything on the planet. Total dark age overnight. And a hundred years, they will look back at the decaying skyscrapers and they will go, "Wow, how do we build those?" You know what I'm saying? Because they took all the, the archives, buried them somewhere in some warehouse digitalized all the all the archives everything else down the memory hole a new dark age you know what i'm saying mad max uh like in the matrix when they show them the real world then you know not the matrix like that like on terminator after uh judgment day like that you know what i'm saying uh it can happen fairly quickly and but it's not listen the people that are left the factions on earth will kill each other i mean this was a judgment in as in the days of noah what happened also in the days of noah god said all the sons of the watchers they all fought each other to the death till there was none of them left like the whole earth consumed itself because they corrupted it to the point where we were confu or we and them were consuming everything it was just taught excess excess don't give nothing take everything that's basically what everyone's mindset was and we're not far from that right now a lot of people would if you gave them authority here take this gun go take everything from everyone you want do whatever what do without wilt and they would be like okay you give me a double o, double o, uh license to kill i will do as thou wilt you know what i'm saying and they could they can manage and utilize that that person that agent of the chaos of the ordo ob ko you know what i'm saying uh type situations i mean uh so i mean basically it's a good time to study up on your world history the evolution of tactics and strategies and warfares because it's not we're at the we're at the point where we're we went as far as we can go now it's all going to come in on itself and turn take us back to the stone ages basically